welcome to Blender. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a transparent shadow catcher so that you can put it underneath your objects and it makes it look like they're casting shadows from the lighting in Second Life. So to get started we're just going to open up a general file and we need a plane to actually cast a shadow onto so shift A mesh plane and scale it up Turn the screencast keys on here real quick. Uh, find the front and we're going to go into edit mode of our plane. Go into edge select mode and we're going to hit E C. I didn't hit E. E's. Breaking stuff there. <laughs> e C. And just bring it up like that. Then we're going to go back in object mode. Select our cues. We're going to scale it up. Uh, and Move it up on a Z, move it over on the Y, maybe down a little bit, just to get that shadow casting on there. And then I'm going to take my light and I'm going to rotate it on the X a little bit, move it forward on the Y a little bit, maybe bring it down a little closer, scale it up a little bigger. And under your lighting, I'm going to turn this up to like 8,000. You want this plane to be white. Uh, that way when you bake your texture uh, you'll get the shadow on it. That shadow is not quite as dark as I want it so I'm gonna move the light a little closer. Oh, so the light. Turn the lighting down. Try four thousand. I'm gonna move the cube a little closer too. Oops. There we go. That's not a bad shadow there. Maybe a little closer. I want to get nice and dark so you guys can see it. So that's pretty dark shadow under there. Scale this light down a little bit. Make it a little sharper. That's good. So now we need to bake our shadow. So select your plane, go into shading, and we're going to add a new material to it. So materials tab, properties tab, and then hit new. And we're going to shift A. Texture, image texture, and pop that in there. And just click new. And you can turn alpha off, it doesn't matter. Name it Shadow Bake. And click OK. OK, now that we got our image texture on here, we need to go into the renders properties. And we're going to change our bake samples to 128. And before we bake this thing we still need to unwrap it so I'm going to go into edit mode hit A U and just unwrap it it's just a plane you don't need to mark seams or anything now I'm going to jump over in the UV editing tab and I'm just going to hit A over here and move it over on the X a little bit and scale it up a little bit just to give us more texture space now that's done we can go ahead and select our object make sure our shadow bake selected go down to bake on our rendering tab and just go ahead and bake it okay once that's baked we want to go over here and click our three little dots you can check out your bake first make sure it's looking okay that looks pretty good and we can uh, click our three little lines image save as you can save it wherever you want to I'm going to save it to desktop and I'm going to add a couple numbers to it so I know I got the right one and save as Okay, once our shadow is sh saved, we can go ahead and jump into the compositing tab up here. And when you go into the compositing tab, click uh, Use Nodes. And you're going to get two nodes. These nodes are for your F12 uh, render image button hotkey. So we're just going to move those over here because you can't render an image without these. And we don't need them though. So first thing we're going to do is... 
go ahead and hit shift a uh, input and we're going to do an image on your image node we can go ahead and drop this down first on your image node we can go ahead and click this uh, uh, open and find the image that you saved so shadow bake 3 and that'll put it in there once you have your image in there we're going to hit shift shift a output viewer and just drop in in here and we're going to connect the image to the image and that brings up your background there so you can see what's going on with it while we're working on it. the next thing we need is a color ramp so shift a uh, converter color ramp and we're going to drop this right in between the two nodes there and this will allow us to adjust our shadow so we can move it this way and make it darker or move it this way and get rid of some of the white and I think I like it like that so on our image right now uh, black is actually invisible and white is seen so we need to invert these so I'm gonna move this guy over and I'm gonna hit shift a uh, color and invert and just drop that in between your color ramp and your viewer and then we want to change the image to alpha on our viewer node so now the background is transparent and we have nothing but the shadow left so you can also blur or soften your edges by adding a blur node uh, so to add a blur node it's shift a filter and blur and you drop this guy right here and that'll blur the edges now you want this X and Y to be the same number so when you do it just drag down and turn it up and down and you can see how it blurs it, it takes a minute to uh, refresh but I think that's probably good so once you're done adjusting these how you like them so you can adjust the color ramp and you can adjust your blur numbers and get your shadow looking how you want it to look uh, now we need to save it so if we go back to the shading tab and over here let me drag it out a little bit so we have our shadow bake there and stuff but we want to hit the drop down for our shadow bake and choose viewer node and that'll give us what's in our compositing tab and then you can just click uh, the three lines image save as and you can save it wherever you want to save it I'm gonna save it on the desktop so now that we have that done, if you want to actually see what it looks like, uh, we can go in here and go ahead and delete this principal BSDF off of your uh, shadow catcher. So delete that. And we're going to do Shift A, Shader. We need a Diffuse BSDF. Uh, Shift A, Shader again. And we need a Transparent BSDF, not a Translucent. <laughs> And put that above there. And we also need a mix shader. So we'll grab a mix shader. And we need an image texture. So we'll just drag that one over. We're going to kill that and click open and put our transparent shader we put in here. So there's my bake. Let's go ahead and hook these up. So the color goes into the color the alpha goes into the factor of the mix shader the principal BSDF goes in the bottom shader and the transparent goes in the top and the mix shader goes into the surface and that gives us our shadow so to see it better I'm gonna go ahead and make a plane and scale it up and I'm going to move it down just a hair and we can just delete our cube so that it's not casting a shadow from the light and you see that we have the shadows there 
that's it for this video that was a requested video so I hope the person who requested it is happy <laughs> uh, if you guys learned something go ahead and like and subscribe and if you want to join the discord it's all in the uh, YouTube channel somewhere and I'll see you in the next one